Hi, Julie Torrens here. So finishing up this bead journal, as we went through it, I said to different pages, you know, let's, let's wait till later. Well, here's one of them that was like that. And I feel like we need something here. And there's a couple more pages that I felt like that. Um, not all, you know, not every blank page, but here. I feel like we need something. And there's a few others like that. So I'm just going to set this aside. I have completely run out of pockets. And I ran out of tags that were specifically for using for um, the bee journal. But I have tags that are kind of generic that I want to now customize. So let's look at the middle of this. And there that flies. Okay, so I want to get started on some more pockets and I want to kind of get ready some tags. So I'm this was from a master board that we made together. I do have the video for that. And I'm just going to add some peachy keen, which is on the background of this. And I'm just going to get rid of the very white edge. I grabbed the uh, inker that is got a brown or sh more of a brown family in it, but that's okay. It's a whole new color and I don't mind it. Let's get this round here. So how are you? I do hope that this video finds you good health, high in your spirits. Okay, so this one already has some bees on it, but and in the background is flowers, but let's get maybe something a little more specific. As I was looking for things, I knew I was missing some stuff. Yeah, I was missing a whole set of things that have to do with bees. But like I've got this. Mm, doesn't send me. This is from though a whole nother. This could be a little mini pocket. There could be a pocket in a pocket. And I've got some little tags. Let's just see if one of those little tags. I know they're in here. You're going to see some stuff and say, hey, I think I saw that before. <laughs> you did. Okay, so with this, mm, it would be tight. But maybe we could trim it. How about this one? Better. Okay, I am definitely going to put this guy on there. That's a good start. I'm going back to the peachy keen, but I'm going to use the right. Let's use the right inker. I think it'll just kind of bring the color away little less pink which there's pink on this as well and see kind of highlight some of the other colors good okay we're going to glue that on then how about over here maybe just a flower a small flower let's see this is my summer collection It could really afford more than one flower, couldn't it? Oh, I like that. All right, a couple of leaves. Got these long leaves that I haven't used much of. Let's get three of those. Okay. All right, I'm sitting on my glue book. So we don't need to do that let's just now this glue stick got left open like overnight so I closed it up I don't know if it's going to work but you know we won't know till we try so let's give this a try I think I'll start with the purple flower roll it up a little bit well it's definitely sticky I think it's fine. 
I've had that happen before. If you leave your glue stick open by accident, and I'm not saying just during your project, but like I did overnight, you may just close it and leave it for another overnight. And then you'll be surprised just at how it will kind of revive itself. As a matter of fact, if it's goopy, I think I'm in the next time I've got a problem with goopy. I forgot to put the leaves on, but I still have a flower over there. So I'm going to put the leaves over here. Yeah, if it's getting kind of goopy, try to uh, leave it open. Maybe not overnight, but you know, leave it open for a little bit. See what happens. Can't hurt. I mean, if it if it's like a candle, you can't, you know, do anything with it, which is what this one was like. It's plenty sticky now. Plenty sticky. Let's see what that looks like with two. I think that's enough. I don't think we need to go overboard. Well, there. Okay. So this bee journal has been so much fun. I think I'm going to start. Well, I'm definitely going to save the bits that I didn't use yet. And I'm going to glue this pocket on. This is cardstock. So I'm going to give it the art glitter glue, which I wouldn't use glue stick for this anyway, because I don't know how to just get a little bit of glue stick. Do you know what I mean? I just want a fine edge. There we go. Get a paper towel. Okay. Good. Let's just set this one aside. And I think these two tags that were left behind are just fine the way they are. Okay, I had this tag left behind, which I think is gorgeous, but it needs a B. So let's just grab ourselves a B. Easier said than done. This says it's a, about, it talks about a grasshopper. How about that? I think that's gorgeous. I'm going to get again the orange and I'm going to give it a once around. It's called Peachy Keen. I like to use the archival inks because once they're dry, they don't move. And for this particular project, I don't think that you need to use archival, but there's you know, I use my ink for a lot of other things as well. And when you're doing mixed media, there's a lot of wet mediums involved. And I am getting confused what to grab. <laughs> I just like that I can grab this ink, whatever I'm doing, and it'll run for me. It'll go. Okay. There we have it. Okay, so we've got a tag ready. Same with this one. We need another B. I didn't take a deep look into this, but I don't know that it's got any small Bs. It's, it's got some other tags we can use. See, it's got things like this. It, this is like a faux postage with a B. I think that's beautiful. I'm going to try something. I'm, I'm in my, my scissor bin. If I can find it quick, I've got some scissors that make different shapes. You know what I mean? But I don't see it, and I'm not going to have you spend a lot of time waiting. Ah, here's one. There we go. Let's give this a cut with these. This is like a, I'm going to cut with a faux, what would you call this? A um, pinking shears type. 
but I think when we ink it up, it'll look especially cute that way. All right. Thank you, scissors. And I'm going back with Peachy Keen. There's probably enough on there. Yeah. We've got some kind of fall flowers and fall leaves on this one. The bees don't go away just because it's starting to turn into fall. All right. Stick this down. There we go. I can see where it gouged a little bit into the glue stick. We'll just give this a good go. I got these tag blanks in Happy Mail from Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Okay, I think this is ready for the bee journal. Set it aside, same here. Beautiful uh, bird and flowers needs a bee. I've got these bee tags. No, not for this. That can maybe fill a pocket. Let's find another bee. This one might be good. Let's see. Whoop, dropping things. That's the way I am. I think that shows up nice, but I don't think I want to use orange on it. Let's use blue. I have cobalt. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this journal. If I'm going to gift it or sell it or keep it for my kind of, you know, my own memories and things like that. I don't have a garden. I have a balcony that I keep some flowers on in the summer, spring and summer. I like that with the blue, but I, it's not like I can take it and then record my garden for the year. It just, there wouldn't be a journal's worth of material to put in there for, for a couple of hanging plants. Maybe over here. I like that this bee is like totally different than the, uh, than the things we already have on there because I think it helps it to show up like, hey, I'm a bee here. Okay, good. See, we're doing this quite quick. And this is what's nice about having some things like this in your stash. That is not a bee. I'm not sure what that is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Let's get that fall bucket here and see if I have any more tiny little bees in here. I see one. I see two. There's one. There's a real tiny one. And I found a third one. That will work. Let's put those on there. Okay. Wow, with this glue stick, I feel like if I get the glue on it, I'll never get it off. <laughs> I'll try doing it this way. All right, let's put a bee right here. And you, sir, right here. And you, eaty beatsy one. Let's put him right here where he'll show nice. All right. That's for the bee journal. Okay, pocket. Again, made it sort of generic. Left room for add-ons. What do we want to add on? Hmm. I know obviously my brain is saying B. 
One of these would be cute in that pocket, so we'll save it for that. Let's see, that's obviously too big. That can go someplace. Here's a little bee. If you're saying, well, your inventory of bees is getting low, I know, I know. Now, I'm not too concerned about putting one up here because it's gonna be covered. But I like this bee here, or maybe reverse it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, super sticky glue. Oh boy. There. Oh. Well, maybe put both of them up here. Let's do that. Maybe this guy up here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. His little leg is sticking off a bit. Yeah. Now, when I go to grab some scissors, I'm going to grab those pinking sheer ones every time. <laughs> All right. That's good. Okay. I think this pocket's ready to go in. Now, remember this. This is totally ready to go in. But I didn't leave a glue spot. I decorated the whole thing. So I thought, but I like the idea of it in the journal. And the journal has room for it. So I, I cut out this pocket. And this is other places. This, this uh, paper is other places in the journal. So I think it'll go fine. But we're going to make a, a more generous pocket here. I'll tell you, my vacuum cleaner gets more of those half circles. Okay, I'm going to grab the browns. Sounds like a family, doesn't it? And let's use, let's use the hickory smoke, which is a gray. A little bit, not a grungy journal, but a little bit of a grungy pocket. Why not? But I think this journal could use a big statement like this. There's room for it. You could see that the journal's not overstuffed by any stretch of the imagination. Although I don't want it to be one of those, you know, really big. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not just not what I'm thinking of for this one. I like this bird. There's definitely room for flowers. I'm going to grab some scissors and I'm going to give this just a little bit more of a fussy cut. So today is, let's see. Today is Sunday. Um, Halloween, which is the 31st, is Tuesday. So Monday's the 30th, today's the 29th. And for our trick-or-treaters, which may be over by the time you see this, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. This will probably go out Monday. Happy Monday. But uh, I'm concentrating a little bit, sorry. We are, they started with rain mixed with snow for Tuesday. Then they changed it to snow starting at four o'clock. Now they've changed it to snow 
on Tuesday, Halloween day, not to end until Wednesday sometime. And they're saying a trace to a couple of inches. Now, it, it won't stick. I can tell you that right now. Not because I'm a meteorologist, but just the ground is, is still warm. But for us in Grand Rapids, Michigan, that's where I am at. For us to get a snow in October is not uncommon. We've really been kind of blessed to not have any measurable snow. We haven't had any snow at all. We haven't had a flurry, nothing. My goodness, last week, where was I? Oh, I went to the post office on Tuesday. It was 75 degrees. So when it's 75 degrees and in a week it's going to be an inch or two of snow, not an inch or two, a trace to an inch. I usually have fussy cutting done, but these are kind of have a, oh, sort of a, a frame around them. And I, on some pieces it's fine and on some pieces it's not so fine. And I'm smearing ink around. That's how I do. <laughs> It'll come off. Okay, so I like that bird. I think we need some flowers down here. I'll stick with the summer. And maybe I'll try to remember to put the leaves on before. I wouldn't mind a bigger flower. Maybe just one flower. I think that's gorgeous. Yeah, one flower. And if you like these flowers, that's part of my collection. This is the summer collection that I'm fishing things out of right now. But it is a printable and you can find it at pmartiststudio.com and my printables are there. Take a look. Even if you don't feel like you're going to buy them, let them let them inspire you. Make your own. I'm all about it. I want my printables to be available for those that feel like that's just not their thing to do that on their own. Or that like my style. You know what I mean. I did it because people were asking me, where did you get this ephemera and where can I get some? Whoa. Okay. I'm working on my winter collection, which will be out pretty soon. It's not Christmas. It's going to be winter. You could, of course, adapt it to Christmas. But we'll talk more about that when it's ready. All right. There's the flower. Here comes the bird. Nice. I'm going to take the brown and just hit the spots. Wow. I hit the spots all right. That's fine. But I'm just going to add some more now. get the other branch. I don't know if you can see me, but yeah, that's fine. Get his edge here. If you can hear noise, there's the, the geese. I haven't seen geese in the pond that's right outside my window here. I haven't seen geese for, oh, I would say at least a week. Ducks. The pond that is near me, they call it a lake. It's not a lake. It's a pond. But the pond that's, that's right near me, they have a, a fountain in it. But the fountain is shut off now. Um, the fountain runs in um, usually the first part of May until a little after Labor Day. It depends on the weather. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Okay. I'm going to give him another flower. I'm 
I want a different color. Yellow. Yeah. That's good. Well, when they shut the fountain off, that's when the ducks came. And we've had so many ducks in the pond, which is fun. But now it seems like today the geese have realized that the ducks have moved in and they, they have a little something to say about that. <laughs> so that's what I'm hearing right now. All right, that bird cannot have a gigantic bee. I've got a little bee there. But this bee might be too big. Maybe if he's flying away, no. Yeah, he's too big. What's this? Is this a bee? No. Let's throw you away. Oh, ladies. This could have gone if it went under the, the tail. And with that glue stick, I'm not even going to try to lift that tail up. Got another one of those. I've got this bee with a flower. Hey, I think that will work quite nicely. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, very good. I like it. So I've been enjoying the different sights and sounds of the ducks instead of just the geese. But they're both really nice and fun. I've enjoyed the geese all summer. And seeing the ducks this fall, it's been great. Okay, now I still think it needs something up here now. Maybe something like a label, a sticker, um, you know, something, something different. What's in here? Okay, we've got some labels. I don't know if any of these have a bee on it, but I think they're mostly butterflies. Yeah, they're butterflies. There's some that are just flowers. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. What's underneath? Butterflies. Okay. Nope. Not that I don't like them. Just not the right thing. Okay. Let's look at these. Now, these are more labely. Like this. And I think that looks fine. Let's go with that. So where you live, do you have ducks, geese, do you have water on your property? Or maybe, um, maybe you have a bird feeder. What, what do you attract? What, what, what do you go for? Chickadees or cardinals? Those are the kinds of birds we see around here. Finches. Robins, blue jays, and the robins, they do not all completely disappear. I don't know what their guidelines are for staying put or heading out. Okay, I'm calling this done. But yeah, robins are migratory. Now this has a pocket, so I'm going to set it aside. And I just have... A few more things here that I thought, you know, this could be a tag. Don't know if I need something that big. Why don't we just turn it into a tag and not necessarily put a bee on it yet. Or I've got some bee things on there, in there that are kind of big. And maybe that, maybe this would be the opportunity for them. I think I'm going to round the, that's the wrong punch. I'm going to round the corners, bottom corners of this. This one didn't come out quite right. All right, <clears throat> let's see what we can do, because that looks goofy.
Oh, that helped. All right. Good. Again, master board that we made together. Ah, I don't want blue. I think I'm going to stick with the browns. I know that can be boring, but we're going to go with some vintage photo. I just think that's the direction this tag needs to go. It's very bright and I think this can make it a little more nature-y. I don't think it's going to make a huge impact, but yeah, you'd be surprised. So not too many videos out last week and I apologize. I am still working on getting my back into shape, but it's way better, way better. And, you know, I've just come with, with, with all that goes on in my life. Um, maybe I've reached a new normal. I, I don't know, but it could be. All right, you know, we've got those We've got those B things that I said I, I'd forgotten about. What did I do with them? See, they're very elusive. <laughs> oh, here they are. Here they are. Something in here. We've got this little tag that says sweet honey. Sweet as honey. I think these are big little pockets. This is like a little torn paper. I say, let's tear, let's tear it some more because I'm not crazy about the holes that it came with because they're, um, they're white and I'm certainly not, I don't have a punch that small, but we can just tear this it was inspirational, huh? Now see, I think that looks good. Needs more. All right, let's, thank you for these. And a little bit, I've got my scraps here. A little bit, oh, you want to see? What are you digging in? Mm -hmm. A little bit of book page or a little bit of music note paper. Here's some music note paper that's got some green on it. I think it's beautiful. I might go right down this side. The other side looks torn from being torn from the book. Okay. Yes and yes. I like it. You saw that scrap bin. And you saw that even though I sincerely have been working in it, I'm looking for the lid, there it is, of my art glitter glue. Even though I've been working out of it, I haven't made a dent. I'm going to make very soon, oh boy, I left that off too long. I am going to be making a handful of some master boards. Plus, I've had some viewer requests for more master boards. And too many scraps is a wonderful way to make a master board. Not that master boards are only deserving of scraps. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. Sometimes I make master boards that are all out of acrylic paint and stamps and stencils. So, but it's one way that I think you can create something beautiful. That looks good. Grabbing a card. Yes. And don't worry about this curling because once I put that, um, the whole journal and flatten it out, it'll, it'll all flatten out. Up or down, up or down. 
I don't know. Let's ink it up. Let's think and ink. Going into the peachy keen. There we go. I think it would have be nice to have some flowers down here. Let's go into the fall flowers. A little different vibe, but still fine. Almost too too similar. I've got a big old maple leaf. Think that fits? <laughs> They're fun. All right. Thank you, maple leaf. Let's look at this blue and an orange. And then maybe this half flower. I like that. And then... I don't mind a few fall leaves. That's a little big, maybe here and here. Okay. Thank you again, sir. Okay. Let's get those leaves on first. And the orange one. Leaves turn color even when it's not fall because of things like disease. But I mean, things like, um, you know, maybe a bird or a squirrel or somebody kind of knocked a bit of the, of the branch. And so then you can say, uh oh, we need to trim that because somebody, somebody got hold of it. Okay, I like that. Let's get this orange one on. Whoops, sorry. Caught on my sleeve. I know I've got some people who watch Kim. Hi, Kim, that are in Michigan. So, welcome, Kim. Kim's weather and my weather doesn't change a whole lot. I would say Kim is mm, maybe a couple of hours where she lives from me. Who knows, Kim? Maybe you and I can meet halfway for coffee. I would love it. Kim's been faithfully supporting this channel by watching and commenting for a long time. Okay. Okay. Let's get this on. I can see we're going to need something here, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. Oh, I like this. I like this, folks. I do. For some reason, this particular tag feels like it needs a hole in it. I don't know why, but it just feels like it. And then we'll get a piece of lace or a piece of some fabric to go in there. But we need something here. Something that is long and skinny. What about one of these? What about it? I love it. I'm thinking though, I'm going to ink it up just a little bit. I'm, I'm going on the back because I really want just a little bit on the front. And I tend to 
get more on the front. So I'm turned it around and I'm doing it on the back side just to get a little on the front. Yes, that's good. A little beehive. That's cute. I like it. Should I, should I look, I'll, I'll just go in, I've got my, I've got my big container of uh, lace because I'm hoping to maybe get some lace on the pages tonight, today. But what about that thing? This might be pretty. It's got words on it. It's a, it's a salvage edge, but I love salvage edges. Ooh, one fell out. Hang on. Can you see me? Hi. This one has some yellow on it. I like that even better. Maybe cut it about here, and then I think we'll have room or space for even another one. Save that. I guess I could have simply cut um, cut some some of this and even stapled it on, but now I I just felt like this needed a hole. Can I get that through with my big fingers? We'll try. Get a tool. How about that? Hmm? Hmm? Yep. I could really yank it with those uh, pliers, but I, I'm i afraid I would yank it clear through the paper. Can I get this to work? I think so. All right. I like that. So what I'm going to do, it's not really through as much as I'd like. I'm going to just grab some Fabri-Tac. And kind of glue it together the way it is. And then I think it'll be fine. Do I need a tool again? I just only have so many hands. Okay, left hand. Do some work. There we go. Of course, the Fabri-Tac sometimes bubbles right out and other times just hangs out at the bottom of the bottle. Okay. Now just glue that there and then it's not going to go anywhere. That's the way to do her. And I like that. I think it looks cool. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's grab the journal. See where we're at as far as tags and pockets and all that business. How are we doing for time? Let me take a look. Um, we're good. We're good. Okay. Trying to make a little space. All right. Let's pull out our... Look at all we made. And I've got this big pocket. And there is a space in here like here, where there's just, it, it needs something. What do you say? I think that looks great. Let's put that there. I'm so happy that you're working on this journal with me today. It means a lot, it really does. I don't take it for granted. While I'm gluing, you could run over and hit the like, the thumbs up, because it does help my my videos it gives youtube the idea that it's a good video to show to other people and then if you want to see more journal making mixed media art journaling then go ahead and subscribe to my channel 
And when you ring the bell icon, then you'll get a notification anytime I make a new video or go live. Go live, you say? Oh, yes. I've got some plans in the work that we're going to go live. And I can answer more of your questions and things like that. Okay, let's just leave it alone. I mean, I'm tempted to start filling it, but let, let's let that glue settle. But I think I'm going to like that much better. Now we're good here. But then I just know here, look at this. And I think this could go here because we're not covering up anything significant. And this can still be a writing page. Yep. We may not get the lace on today. Maybe I'll have a short video with that because honestly, we're really coming down to the wire here. This is a little kind of a tri-fold pocket. And I made several of these on pocket videos. I have a playlist called Pockets. So take a look there. Let's give this just a good press for a moment. I hope you can hear the birds. They're so cool. Now this, yeah, this needs some encouragement. Sorry for the reach. I've got these little encouragers. Let's, too short, let's encourage these to want to stay down. There we go. Okay, I think if I fold this in, we'll be able to keep going. Now let's, am I okay with that? I think so. Okay, sorry, but hey, it's a situation you may find yourself in, right? Let's do a little something somewhere on here, something that says bees like there's a bee on that flower i think that's all that needs but i think it needs something where is that green paper it's right here julie calm down it's right here mm -hmm. i like the green on these colors i think it's refreshing I guess there was a little more left to this journal than I thought, but that's okay. It shows you, you know, just what's entailed. Somebody had a question on one of the groups I'm in, and she was saying that she has some supplies, and she's been watching some videos, but the reels and the shorts are so fast and she just doesn't really know where to begin. <laughs> I told her, I said, find out who the artist is on the reel or the journal or the, the reel or the uh, shorts that you're watching and go find that artist. They probably have tutorials. But these reels and stuff, I'm all about it. They're fine. But I think they give people the impression that we're doing 90 second art you know what i mean and it's like that's to give you a, a taste a flavor but these things take time the fussy cutting alone is more than a reel or a uh, or a short video okay now i think that is great i'm gonna leave that clamped for a minute And if I have to get more serious about it later, I can. This one. 
but where else? This pocket just needs more. We'll we'll come back to that. But that was the that's why you know we made these tags and things. I see I don't mind this because we have all this. Yeah, I think I'll leave that. And this is our middle with our big flowers. I just love it. Okay, here. Here, 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 here. Now, did we use up all the pockets that I made? Did I only make the 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 two? No, I knew I made another one. Ha. Right there. This one may, it's so slippery and shiny. This one may want to give me the heartache that the other one does. It may need clamping down for a little bit. We'll see. But we're far enough into the journal that there's kind of a, a bend heading towards the seam, which is totally normal. I'm not going to put it at the very, very bottom. Okay, so how many of you are going to be watching the, the baseball, what is that called? World Series. That's coming right up. And I know the Arizona Diamondbacks are one, and I forget who else is going to be playing. I like baseball, and it's not uncommon for me to find the, the World Series and give it a watch. At least, at least pay attention to who wins, because that's fun. I enjoy it. Okay. How are we doing? I'm just going to give this side a little bit longer of a, of a press. Okay. We're not going to put anything in it yet, but I think it'll be okay. Now, I think that's it. Again, needs more. But we've got more. Again, needs more. More in the pockets. Okay. Let's look at our tags and things and see what more we can put in. Because I just feel like... Now, this helped this pocket a lot. So, oh, and we've got two with... Well, let's not do that. Let's, there we go. Okay, that's good. Now this pocket's got nothing. I like the brown with this. And then remember I said we've got these tag, these tickets. Now, when you get fussy cuts that have these tickets, those little half circles, grab your uh, that's why I didn't do this ahead. Grab your little hole punch and just hole punch those instead of trying to cut them with scissors. And I think you'll be satisfied. And you can even do this in making your own tickets, which we ought to do that sometime is, is to make some tickets. And there's four in here. Is it too much? Yes, but if I make it two, it'll be short. So I'm just going to make it three. That's okay. We'll put that other ticket somewhere. We'll have a little small place that needs it. Okay, good. All right. I think this could use a little something. See what I mean? This ticket that we just took off. What about right there? See, I think that makes a big difference. We're good here. Now this has like more of a journaling card in it. This almost feels, it feels like too much competition. What else can we put in there? My little ones are too little. I've got some other tickets. These guys, let's, let's see about these. We'll give this a trim. Now, these don't have bees. They have butterflies, but that's all right. I don't think it takes away from 
our theme. Oh, see, I like that way better. And, and well, I guess I'll put it in the middle because here's the bee and here's a bird head. Now I wouldn't mind something more behind. Well, what if I put a different color? What if I put this brown one? Because, see, this is like a little bag. Okay, okay. Now I like it. That's good. Thanks for your patience. Okay, this is good. Do we think this is down? Well, this one is. It's the one on the other side. This pocket definitely needs more. Maybe, maybe this could be the big one. This is an envelope where I had used the other half of the envelope for, uh, for its window. So I made a pocket out of the other half. Okay, I like that. I like it because it's pink. Maybe the black one. Maybe the black one more in the back. It's too big. It's too big and it looks like it's too big. So let's put this. Okay, I had other um, B tickets. I also have these, but there's no B on that. Let's see here. This one is a writing space. Let's put that in there. Okay, I'm going to punch the hole and I'm gonna make it shorter, just a little bit shorter. I think it'll be fine. Oh, good. Well done. Okay. Got this little sweet as honey. And I just love it. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. I think I'm going to use art glitter glue. Am I where you can't see me? I am so sorry. I hope I wasn't down there too long. All right, paper towel. Got a little carried away with the glue. <laughs> okay, good. Let that dry. This is the one that wanted to pop up, but let's just see. I think we're okay. All right. Now, I'm just getting very crowded here again, but we need lots of stuff. I do clean up between, oh boy, that's got getting ink everywhere. I do clean up in between. All right, you, Pocket, you need some stuff in you. You're another tall Pocket. I don't mind that. I'm going to punch out the hole. And I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. But I think that's a good background pocket or background ticket. Yep, that that obliterates everything. Should it go in the farthest back? Yes. Okay. You can go here. Yes. And then I've got too, too much the same. Let's get one of these. All right, and I like this. I think that perked that up just nice. Oh, 
You're practically empty, friend. Now that's got to go in that big pocket that we did. How about this one? Yes. That helps. That's fine. There's our halfway. Okay, I think this is the big pocket that I cut out, or else it isn't, but it's big enough. To just pop that right in. Now, he has pockets. Oi, oi. Okay. Well, I've got this one. I can go right in there. I've got this one that can go right in there. And let's put the tickets. I'm going to do three instead of four. Yep, punching them out, even the corners you can do. And this could go in here along with one of the butterfly ones. I think that'll be fine. that all the way down I was gonna say that can't be all the way down all right now am I starting to lift this I sure am so this may need to just sit a little bit longer before I before I stuff it because this one is that on a curve as well. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna rest this in here. That looks fine. Good. This is fine. I love this. You. Good. This one could take a little ticket. I didn't cut the, trim the corners on this one. There. You. Uh-oh. Too big. Well, let's get a ticket. And then I've got another idea. Dangerous, huh? Okay. I mean, there's a ticket in there or a, ta a tag, yeah, in there. But you can't see it, it blends in. This has some journaling cards and too big. Let's see, are you a little skinnier? I think so. Oh, oh. Not skinny enough. I'm going to cut it. Well. Whoop. That's good. I 
Are you serious? All right, let's let's do it like we mean it. Get the bone folder. All right, now. Yeah, well, it wasn't meant to be. We've got other stuff in here, like this. Wow, probably thinking, Julie, what'd you wait so long for? Well, you know, try a little of this, try a little of that. Okay, I like that. Don't you? Much better. Boy, I don't think I have another pocket. Oh, it needs it. Okay. Bite the bullet. You can do it, Julie. It goes this way because there's a beehive. We can go that way. Close the art glitter glue before it, it closes itself, which is what it will do. Okay. This is the Peachy Keen. Okay. Now I realize it needs a little flower or something. I'm just going to set this aside for a moment. And we're back into decorating mode. What have you got in you? What can we decorate a pocket with? My goodness, you could have turned into a pocket all by yourself. So could this. But see, I think that'll be fine in there. All right, let's... Aha! Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I'm looking for. There. I like it. I'm going to use the, the brown inks. I think I was using Hickory Smoke last. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Well, I apologize. I not only got you thinking that I was going to put lace on here today, but I got myself thinking that. But I know we're probably even running over already. I'm not even going to look because it'll just make me nervous. All right, get the journal. It's definitely getting fatter. That hair is okay. I just don't want it to where it almost seems like your cover is too small. <laughs> I mean, and those are fun. Don't get me wrong, but not what I'm looking for today. My next journal, I want to have more interesting things. I want to have like some flip outs. You know, I don't even know what they're called, but we're a page and it opens up to even be bigger and maybe some kind of side tucks or some, some hidden things. I just, I want, I want to do more than just pockets and tags, pockets and tags. I mean, I, it was a good way to learn and it was a good way to start. And I, I, I know I don't mind that I did that, but I think it's, it's, it's okay to, move along you know I, I feel like I've got that figured out so let's go with something else this is getting there we go go in there we go okay okay now let's grab one of these tags in the back and they have writing space on the back oh that's so pretty Yes, I like that. And let's put this one 
Oh, that is good. But you know what? Let's do a little something over here. Yes. Yep. Let's get a leaf. Time to cut out some more leaves. It's okay. There. There's a few. Oh, I even have a little sprig. That's sweet. Let's get that on there. I know you can't always see. I brought you in close, so that makes the space that I have to work in a little bit smaller. So, cute. Yep. It's fine. I think we'll put that one back and here's my little flower big flower okay I like that page let me know what you think. All right, I think we're going to hit the end here. This can use a little something more. Okay, let's see, because I like the birds. There. That way the bees can show a little bit. All right, well, next time we get together, probably going to have to come up with a closure of some kind, and we'll get the lace on the edges. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. I've had a great time today. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye now.